Let me tell you something. I come home every Monday night and I watch my performance about 20 to 30 times. <laughs> It's really weird. Hi, Women's Health. I'm Justina Machado, and I'm going to break down my performance on Dancing with the Stars this week on Performance Review. <laughs> 80s night was really exciting because I was a teenager in the 80s. I love the 80s. My style in the 80s was eclectic. It, it, uh, it kind of changed with whatever pop star I was into. I loved Madonna. She was my number one Madonna. I remember wearing very bold neon colors, big earrings. I remember everything being super colorful, shoulder pads. If you look at the 80s, a picture of the 80s, that was me. I mean, I'm living my 80s dream right now. I mean, I love the 80s. I was living for my 80s costume. I swear I was living for it. I, I even helped it with the hair. I was like, oh no, no, we've got it. We've got to put some aqua. We didn't have Aquanet, unfortunately, but that's all we used back then. It's like I put up the bangs, we put the clips in, and what I wore when Dancing with the Stars for the 80s night, I would have died to wear in the 80s. Dancing with the Stars presents Aerobics with the Stars. As soon as we have our show on a Monday, that Tuesday we come in and we start learning the new dance. When we first started Dancing with the Stars, we were spending uh, many hours because not everybody had started dancing yet. Then as soon as we got into the competition, it went down to three hours each because there's so many of us and also because of the COVID rules. There are only a few slots that we can dance in. Then after one couple leaves, a COVID team comes in and cleans the whole room for the next couple. So they were very, they're very strict with the hours. Now that more dancers are leaving, now we get four hours a day. So basically we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We've got five, six days to learn that dance, to perfect that dance, and then to put it on uh, the stage live on Mondays. Dancing jazz with her partner, Sasha, it's Justina Machado. I danced to She's a Maniac uh, from the iconic movie Flashdance. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. I really can't remember the first time I saw Flashdance. I don't think it was in the theaters. I'm pretty sure it was on VHS. And I just remember loving Jennifer Beals. I thought she was gorgeous. I love the story of her hustling for her dream. And of course, the incredible dance at the end and when the water falls on her. Yeah, I mean, every girl I know of my age wanted that water falling on them. about the 80s was that I was so familiar with that whole jazz thing from watching Fame and Flashdance and all of those movies that I just went for it because it just took me back to my childhood of the times I was pretending to be the artist when I'd watch them on television. Well, what it means for me to dance in the jazz style, it's definitely jazz hands are something that are that's really fun. And I think all the sharp lines and just the preciseness and also the pas de bourrées, the pas de bourrées and the kickball chains, there's something like really fun about doing that kind of stuff. Uh, so I was excited. This was actually my favorite dance so far that I've done of the season. The real time world, no one sees it. In order for you to make sure that you are in sync with your partner, especially with a dance like jazz, where you must be in sync, uh, you just have to know the counts. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as long as you're counting in here, then you're gonna be okay. When Sasha said 
that he would be on the table and I would be below him and we would just be going for it. I was very nervous. I kept saying to him, but but I won't be able to see you. But then I, what if I mess up? And then I'm not gonna be able, and he kept saying, don't worry, you're not gonna mess up. We're gonna count, I'm gonna count for you. So he's sometimes going, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't know, but he's counting for me sometimes. And a lot of them do that for us. Uh, and so he was counting and doing this so that I could feel confident about all that because I was very nervous about me being in front of him. His choreography is very musical, which helps me very much because I'm not a dancer. And so it's great to know that, oh, okay, this lyric, oh, this goes here in this lyric. But you can't just... You can't just count on the counts and you can't just count on the music. You just have to be in sync with everything at the same time. He always says that don't worry, you're gonna have muscle memory. And you just have to trust that because sometimes when you start doubting, this happens. You'll start doubting like, do I know that step? Am I gonna get that step right? And yet you know you know that step, but you start psyching yourself out. And that's where muscle memory really uh, helps because you're like, oh, okay, that's what's next. So Sasha wanted it to look as if I was auditioning. Now, I've never been to an audition where I ripped the casting director's shirt and threw something off. <laughs> and he just thought it would be fun for this really nervous woman to come in and just take control. So all of that was Sasha and it's always fun because that was, he gave me a little bit of acting. Sasha loves putting spins in our dances, and I love it too, because it's just so fun to get picked up and spun around. My part in making sure a lift goes off flawlessly is stepping into the lift the right way. So there's a right way, uh, whatever way that is that he tells me is right, because I couldn't tell you. But it's like, you know, for this lift, I had to step with my right foot and then jump up. So as long as I do that, Sasha does the rest of the work. First, I'd like to say that I did not want to do the water moment. I had to be talked into it by Sasha because I just started thinking, what? It's live. I'm going to be wet. It's going to be crazy. And I, I didn't want to do it. I just thought, no way. It's going to be so much trouble. And he, you know, he kept on and he made a great argument. And he said, trust me, it's going to be great. And I'm so glad that I trusted him because it was great. It made the dance. It was so fun to start booking up there and knowing that the water was cued when the music ended. So I needed to get there by that time. It wasn't me sitting in the chair, water cue. It's music ends, water goes down. So I had to be there. I was really nervous about it going up my nose. And if you look at it, which is so funny towards the end, you see me go <laughs> throwing out the water. So it did get in my mouth a little bit. What just happened? I see you then. <laughs> oh my gosh. My immediate reaction after the dance was great. Great, I was proud of myself. I was proud of myself. I knew that I hit everything I was supposed to hit. So I felt really great, I felt very proud. Carrie Ann and Derek and Bruno gave me eights. People that are my fans and my family were all like, you deserve nines, you deserve tens, you know? But that's just all the love that, that I get from family, friends, and fans. So yes, they, they thought I deserved some higher numbers. But like I said, I, I'm good with, those eights are great, that's a great number, and I'm still in the game. Every day I come home, I my feet are this swollen, my ankles, and it's just about throwing a bunch of ice in a big pot and soaking the feet, and then you go upstairs, and then you're in Epsom salt. And I mean, it's like every dance hurts a different part of your body. And then when you're recovering from that, you're on to the next dance to hurt another part of your body. <laughs> so it is constant. Thanks so much for watching Performance Review. Don't forget to subscribe to Women's Health and watch Dancing with the Stars Mondays on ABC.